Hey there, everyone. I'm Eugene. And I'm Lexi. And we are talking Oscar predictions. It's finally here at the Academy Awards. And the Oscar goes to the Oscars, hosted by Chris Rock. It's been a long road, a long, winding, crazy award season. It's been some plot twists. <laughs> no one knows what's going on. No one can predict it, but we're going to try and do it anyway. So first things first, supporting actor. Who do you have? Sylvester Stallone. I agree. We agree. The only thing I got is moved on, and I'm here. I think that he's really got the sentimental vote this year, and <laughs> his nominations alone broke a record in, yeah, yeah. in Oscar history for holding the longest amount of time between two nominations for the same character, which is inimpressive. <laughs> the 70s to like now. That's pretty Right. Yeah. For Rocky. Yeah. I think, and the funny thing is, like, people are saying, like, oh, he deserves it because of, because of that sentimental vote, but I also just think he gave a great performance. You know what I mean? I don't think Sylvester Stallone is known for his acting prowess. What are you gonna do? Reload. Those scenes with Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone are the reason that the movie is so great. Give Sly the Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so lead actor, I think we agree. We are, there's no one else but Leo. It is Leo's year. I'm not afraid to die anymore. I have to say, I'm kind of concerned of what role he'll take next if he doesn't get the Oscar. So I think just for his mental health, we give him the Oscar. But also, he was great in The Revenant. You, I mean, he when when you say that someone gives their all to the character, someone sleeping on a carcass is kind of like that. Is basically as much, much dedication as you're gonna get. And I think he he really does a good job of conveying his emotions because obviously he got very very into the role, mm -hmm. which he does with everything. Right, right. I feel like this win will be based more on his career than The Revenant itself. I agree, because I do think, while I love him in The Revenant, I don't know that it's his strongest performance. This is his fifth acting yeah. nomination yeah. for an Oscar, and he's, he's won everything leading up to it. I <laughs> think the world would burn down, certainly the internet would, if he doesn't win the right. lead actor. But I think if someone is, if there are two people who are gonna give him a run for his money, Matt Damon, who was excellent in The Martian. Surprise and was by himself for most of the film, so carried that on his own. But also Eddie Redmayne, though he won last year, I think that the Danish girl was so good and he was so good in it that it's hard for, I think it'll be hard for voters to not give it to him just because Leo deserves one. So we will have to see. We will. Leo! We're gunning for you, man. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think. We're interested. Yeah, you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter or tweet at Eugene and I. Yes, let us know and see if we're right or wrong. I'm right. I'm right. Bye, guys. <laughs>